The Air Jordan 1 Heritage will be releasing this Wednesday, May 25th with a retail price tag of $125. Now I've had this sneaker for over a month now. Um, I bought it off a of goat. I just paid probably like $208, $210 or so uh, to get it early. And uh, these released over in the UK, these sat. Uh, the sneaker doesn't have no hype back behind it right now, but I'm here to tell you this is a very, very nice Air Jordan 1. Uh, red, black, and white color scheme. It comes with three different laces. I mean, this is a very, very nice Jordan 1. But guys, these sat over in the UK. The resale market for these right now is not very good. It's basically going for just like a few dollars over retail plus shipping. And guys, even Nike's not doing this sneaker any favors. Uh, they're releasing it two days before the Travis Scott uh, Air Max 1s and the, uh, the trainers. There's a lot of people that are probably saving up right now just for the fact they even have a chance at those Travis Scotts. So the fact that these are even coming out you know, a couple of days before that is kind of going to hurt this sneaker a little bit. Now, I do think this is going to be a very obtainable sneaker. Now, on the Nike sneakers app, they're doing a draw for this. So it's going to appear like it sells out on the Nike sneakers app. But I do think that this will probably sit for a little while, probably through the weekend at retailers and places like that, like Foot Locker, Champs. Um, you know what I mean, DTLR, certain places like that. I think this sneaker will definitely probably eventually sell out, but right now there is no hype for this. The Air Jordan 1 is taking a major hit. Now, as a whole, the sneaker market is down, and the sneaker that's taken, you know, most of the brunt force trauma of the whole sneaker market being down is the Air Jordan 1. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, I don't really know. The Air Jordan 1 is not having the same amount of appeal as it once did. Now, this sneaker right here, I do think if you love Air Jordan 1s, if you like red and white or red and black sneakers, you're gonna like this sneaker a lot. Um, you know what I mean? In my opinion, this is probably one of my favorite cops so far in 2022. You know what I mean? Could I have lived without it? Yes, I have so many, you know, red and white, red and black sneakers that I did not need this. But, you know, it was a sneaker that, you know, it just resembles, you know, just a white bread. And I really like the bread a lot. So it was a sneaker that, you know, I definitely was going after for myself for the personal collection. So if you like Air Jordan 1s, if you like sneakers in this type of colorway, you're really, really going to like this sneaker a lot. And I think it's going to be very obtainable for you to pick it up. Now, as far as resale predictions go for the Air Jordan 1 Heritage, like I was saying, guys, this sneaker is not doing well out on the secondary markets like GOAT, StockX, eBay, and places like that. Uh, whenever these released over in Europe and the UK, I mean, these sat and basically tanked the whole price. Now, I do think in the long term, these will probably go up slightly. I don't think that this is going to be like a four or $500 shoe or anything like that. Probably never. It's definitely going to increase in value because once people realize that this is a pretty nice sneaker, they'll probably circle back and try to pick it up for whatever price it is at that current time. Um, as far as like uh, doing any kind of investments for this, I would probably shy away from this right now. And most Jordan 1s that are coming out, most of them are just not doing well. Unless it's like a hype Jordan 1 for whatever reason. And there's going to be some coming out later down the line, like the Yellow Toes in August. And then this fall, we're going to be getting the Reimagined Chicago 1. Now, I do think people will probably circle back to pick this Heritage up uh, if they catch L's on the Chicago, just because it's a similar color scheme uh, with the red, black, and white. You know what I mean? But like at scale, I don't see the sneaker really doing big numbers. If it ever does, it's going to be, you know, a long long time from now so i would probably avoid this sneaker now if you want it for the toe if you want this for the collection definitely pick it up guys like i said i've had this sneaker for a while now it is a very very nice sneaker and um you know since it's going to be so obtainable since people are going to be sleeping on it probably trying to save some money uh to, you know to, you know to go after the travis scotts or something like that this is going to be an obtainable sneaker so you know what I mean? Like for an investment, I would shy away from it. But like, if you want to wear the sneaker, if you want it for your collection, definitely pick these up. But guys, let me know your thoughts and opinion on the Air Jordan 1 Heritage. Is this going to be a cop for you? Is this going to be a pass? Do you think these are dope or do you think these are trash? Comment down below and let me know what you think. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Thank you for stopping over here and checking out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you guys. If this is your first time visiting my channel and you like content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell. We're on that road to 5,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate all the love and support. And until next video, peace.